splendid uh, hotel. Uh, and I'm, I'm glad to be here after a fairly uneventful week in the House of Commons. <laughs> <laughs> as far as sedate goes, um, didn't Pete Wishart have something to do with John Bigg at one time? <laughs> sedate yep. is not a word that I think of when I think of Pete Wishart. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Rowdy, yes, that would probably be the same <laughs> But I, I echo uh, everything that the Provost has said. I think she has really given us a good tour de force of why this is a, such a significant investment at this time in, in Stirling. Um, we're very proud of our city and this area and everything it represents in terms of its history and in terms of its present. But the most exciting thing about Stirling, again, as the Provost said, is our future. With the city region deal, there is unlimited potential for what we can become in this area. This is a transformative time in the history of Stirling, and so it is highly appropriate that your investment, the second of your investments, 30 years after the first, in a way heralds the opening of that era, two weeks after the signing of the city deal. Now, we all have things that we look for in, in hotels um, that bring us back as repeat or loyal guests. And I was explaining to Brian, the thing that I look for is a power shower. Because I've been to some <laughs> splendid hotels with the most wonderful bedrooms and ornate features and fittings, but it's a dribble that you get <laughs> in the shower. But Brian was very keen to show me, you really have got power showers here. And so I might even check in just to test the power shower. Why not? Uh, treat my wife to a, a weekend away in, uh, in Stirling. <laughs> oh, three minutes from Bridge of Alba. <laughs> But, uh, but no, I, I do get all the suppliers, everyone that's had anything to do with this project, I, I congratulate you all on, on your work. And I wouldn't, uh, I mentioned the power shower, but the truth is that the thing that makes a hotel magical for the guests who, who come here are the people who work here. And I think it is extraordinary that John Campbell, as young as he is, I don't know if age has got anything to do with this, but it is so <laughs> impressive that he's going to be the captain of this particular ship with his crew of 25. And um, an organization that has the means to produce leaders through its own ranks is an organization that I think uh, deserves every uh, uh, bit of applause. Because that's exactly what I feel very passionately our country needs right now. It needs businesses, it needs public authorities who will invest in our young people and give them the opportunity to reach their potential. And so congratulations to Travel Rogers and organization. Congratulations to all of you for what you've achieved here. And all the best uh, uh, to this establishment and its leadership and its team that you will have many years of success on this very, I think, tremendously advantageous site. Thank you very much.